Hello everyone, it's time for that top secret mission of the month, Mission Inspiration. And we have a good one this month. Let me get my directions and we'll get started. First thing off, it says cover your page with face fragments. Well, I'm starting with a page that already has a coat of paper. This is some kind of jungly looking background with a little bit of gesso over it. And now I have a stamp that is a partial face image, which is a face fragment, right? With a little bit of script with it. And I thought, well, that'll work. I'll cover my page with this stamp. So that's what I've done is I've just randomly stamped on my page with this particular stamp. And I'm not sure who that's by. Um, I'll try to put information in the credits below or let me see. Oh, that's a Stampers Anonymous. Um, K301, Stampers Anonymous. Okay, I like Stampers Anonymous, in case you didn't know. Um, okay, so then it says add thin layers of colored paint. Well, I am getting out an Americana. This is acrylic paint and it is called bleached sand. Just kind of a neutral to uh, tone down that background a little bit. And so that's my layer of paint. And the next step, step is to stamp text or pattern over your page. So, you know, I am a stamp girl. What can I say? I am a stamp girl. So, here we go. So, number three says stamp text or pattern over your page. Well, yeah. I'll grab another stamp for sure. And this time I grab a Museum of Modern Rubber. This is an antique stamp. Um, it's kind of a fragment thing that I got. It's from 1997. Like I said, I've been stamping for a long time. So I'm using a pumpkin bread ink from Fun Stamper's Journey. Um, this is a blended or infusion ink. Um, it has pigment qualities, so I want to be sure and dry it um, when I get done. And just continuing to put some texture onto my background with that stamp. And of course, dry time again. So wow, we're up to step six already, which is add a focal image. Hmm, oops, wait a minute, we're not at six. <laughs> we're at four. Adding journaling, yes, okay. Journaling quote or phrase, and my quote says, hmm, what does it say? Uh, it all starts with a kiss. Yeah, that's what it says. And then the next thing says, make marks, which is number five, with paint, inks, or spray. So I try some spray, that didn't work really too well, and then I thought, well, I like inks, let's go to the inks. So I grabbed my permanent archival inks and adding some brown through this, uh, I don't know, hieroglyphic, what do you call that? I know Patty has a name for it and I always call it the wrong thing, but anyway, this is a Patty Tolly Parish stencil and I love her stencils. And so now, <laughs> We're finally up to step number six, which is add a focal image. So, since we're talking about kisses, I have some nice big lips <laughs> for my focal image. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to split that down the middle just because when you open and close the book so much, uh, it tends to crease and wear right there anyway. So I want to make sure that I don't have an issue later with the folding of that page. So more dry time. And then the next thing says add washi tape or strips of pattern paper. Well, I happen to have some of that pattern paper that we started out with initially uh, that was on the background of the page and so I have several strips of it and I thought well let's put let's put some of that tribal stuff down here uh, this is pretty primitive so I thought yeah that'll work for me and I am using uh, glue and seal which is a product from Ranger um, this happens to be the matte 
glue and seal. And I used it on a project recently and, you know, because I, I wasn't using matte medium or, you know, I had this out. I've had it for a long time. I thought I would use it. And I have to say, I am really impressed with this product. I really, really like it. So uh, it dries quickly. It adheres really well, keeps things flat. And uh, I'm going to be using more of this because I like it. Okay, so just continuing to put those pieces of paper down. And then the next thing is to add color through a stencil. So I'm going to end up going back to that uh, Patty Parrish stencil with some more archival ink, um, just in another color. And um, kind of down in the lower left hand corner to offset, you know, that stark black that's in the top uh, right hand corner needs some balance. So that's why I'm going to the lower left now to balance that out. Then the next thing, which is number nine, says add doodle, scribbles, or zentangle. Well, I'm not a real doodler. I'm not a real zentangler. Um, if I had something that needed shading that I could use scribble with, I could do that. But So my scribbles ended up being my Posca pens, and I'm going to outline my letters. And I'm also going to use a Stabilo All and go around my lips for shading. And that's my way of doodling. Um, just adding something to bring those to the forefront. So the last step on this whole journey is to finish with a white border. So I do that with the Posca pen also. Uh, I go for the bigger one. This happens to be what they call the medium size because I want it to stand out a little bit. So I'm just going to do around the border and kind of a dot dot dash kind of stylized uh, border on here. And uh, nothing fancy, but I think it, it helps uh, draw your eye in on the page a bit. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed uh, this month. I hope you'll join us. Um, it's a Facebook group started by Mike Deacon. And I have a playlist if you want to continue to watch these if you haven't seen it before. And um, come join us because this is a lot of fun. It really stretches your imagination and keeps you working at your art. So... I'll see you again with this one next month, and I will have other things posted in the meanwhile. Um, I'm also doing a couple of other challenges, so if you subscribe, if you click on that button in the lower right-hand corner and subscribe, you will get notified when I have new videos coming out. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.